Hello and welcome back everyone, my name is Rosalind and this is my Let's Play of Dragon Quest XI. Uh, in the last episode we made our way through this uh, the forest of for, uh, forest of beginnings and we are almost at the pedestal that we need to get to to place the orbs that sh hopefully should open the way to the Tree of Life. Um, I went ahead and finished those quests, like I said I would. I turned one of them in uh, and the other one. I finished just fighting a mob over and over again. Um, basically, you fought you fight these over and over until this spawns, and then you kill this and you get it. That's it. So let's go ahead and head up and proceed on. That's a long road, or pathway. Gold Rainbow Bridge. Let me walk all the way up. Okay, so we are here. Oh, there's a well? Really? Okay. Man, I'm getting some major, major frame drops here in the game. In this area. I don't know if you guys can see it, but man, is it just like lagging like all get out. Oh, interesting. says I can use this to go to the world below. The lower world is what it says. Um, I wonder, where does it, where do you come out at? Okay, so you just return back to the platform that we were just at to get here.
Oh, the frame rate drops. Jeez. Come on. I gotta say, now that I've been playing this, I kind of want to try out the 3DS version as well and see the differences. More specifically, the uh, the 2D version, just to see how much different it is. Yeah, right now, I'm not obviously definitely not going to. I don't have the money to do that even if I wanted to. I mean, I kind of I want to, but. I don't have the money to. I also don't have a way to stream it in order to record it. But just a thought of something I thought I was thinking about. The lag in here is tremendous. So, this is the heart of the tree of life. See, it looks like that only the only the hero or only only one with the hero's crest uh, can enter. The hero sword. Again, oh my nose. How did you get here? So it looks like he obviously is aware that uh, she's the princess, and uh, he basically says, you know, don't try anything stupid, you basically can't do anything to hurt me.
I think it's obvious who uh, that person is that the Ice Witch was talking about. As he's saying, in order to fulfill uh, his duties, he is going to be sacrificing us, apparently. And now he's saying that he's calling me the demon child again. And he's saying that the people who are associating with me, the demon child, are gonna, you know, basically be finished here. This is gonna be our grave. Yeah. Whatever you say, dude. Though I have a feeling this might be a battle I'm not supposed to win. We will see. Yep. Figured as much. I assume I'm not supposed to win this, so I'm really just not going to do anything. No healing. Greg and the King. He's saying, you know, King, did you see, did you watch that fight now? And the power that Homodos is using is the power of darkness. And he's saying, for a long time now, we have probably been making a very, very large mistake that, uh, it's actually Homodos is the one who is the bad guy here. as we already know, the king is basically in on it. He basically said, thanks for all your hard work until up until now, Greg.
Yep. And there is Unova. Looks like instead of just working behind the scenes, he was actually just possessing the king. Not good. now. Okay, so uh, kind of obvious what just happened there, but just, just in case, I'm going to explain, because there was text going on. The demon lord, Udunoga, uh, who was possessing the king, came out and basically took the hero's power from our hero by force. And made it hit, you know, made it his own. Used it to get into the Tree of Life's heart. Took the hero sword, turned the hero sword, or but then he destroyed the hero's power. Then turned the hero sword into the demon sword, the demon, the uh, demon king sword, or demon lord sword, whatever you want to use. And then he basically killed the Tree of Life by stabbing that sword into its heart. And took all of its power. Yeah. He's a real nice fella, isn't he? This is a good time as any to use a second save file.
So apparently this young version of our hero, uh, currently unsure if this is a flashback or, or what, I'm not too sure, but uh, just talking about a fight that uh, our hero had with Emma. And because of that, our hero is not able to sleep. And obviously, our mom is laughing at the hero. And now the mom is telling a life lesson that whenever anything bad happens or whenever anything uh, tough happens, just getting back at whatever caused it is it's not cool. Now she's saying what's important is to, to talk with that person, you know, whoever you kind of falling out with or whatever, and uh, by doing so you'll be able to understand that person and their actions. Now she's singing a song. A bedtime song. So the the text, the first text there is have you found the um found the hero and then now it's saying uh, no, Demon Lord. I've searched all over the world, but we can't find um, the hero. Like, is that so? He died. The Yusha's, the, the hero is no longer here. And the world is now mine. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah, we become a fish. <laughs> yep. So we've lost the <laughs> we lost the, the power of of the, or the the hero's power, and we are now a fish. <laughs> okay. Oh gosh, we are nowhere near being finished with this game. What was 26 completed quests is now 45. Oh boy. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and call it here for now. Uh, we'll pick up right here next time. Uh, 
as a fish. <laughs> if you're enjoying the series, please leave a like. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, let me know in the comment section below. And uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. It really does help. And I'll see you next time.